Well, hello there, folks. How's it going today? Hope everybody's doing really good. If you're watching this video, then you're either really bored or you want to learn how to solder. Either way, I'll be doing my best. I'm going to walk you through it. Okay, the first thing you're going to need, guys, is a good soldering iron. I recommend getting a good one. Don't cheap out. Get yourself a good iron with an adjustable temperature control. This one actually has the little holding hands, helping hands on it. There's one on each side. It's pretty handy. Uh, so, first and foremost, you can do it with a cheap one too, but these seem to last a long time and they work really good. Uh, this one's had many hot suppers in the past few years. It's got a little sponge here that you wet down, and when your soldering iron's getting dirty, you just spin it on there and it cleans it right off and it leaves, leaves a nice shiny tip. Works, works really well that way. So I really recommend getting something similar to this. Uh, this heats up to 480 degrees Fahrenheit, which is hot. Don't touch your fingers on the iron because you will regret it. The other thing you're going to need is some wire. Now this comes in a box. I paid like 20 bucks for it on eBay. It's got a bunch of different colored rolls of wire in it. You just pull it out as needed, chop it off, okay? I've had that for a year or two now, and I'm still using it, so I do a lot of, lot of wire in here. So the other thing is something like this is really handy to have, especially for what I'm going to do today. So what we're going to do today is uh, I'm making up some mini toggles for guitar switches, okay? These things, they got two lugs on them that you can hook a wire to. It's just an on and off switch. So I'll show you how I'm gonna do it and uh, I'll show you exactly how to solder here too. Okay, let's get to it. Okay guys, so I got the, the toggle switch hooked in here, it's upside down. You can see the two lugs here with the holes through them. I got a short piece of wire. I just cut a piece off, doubled it over. I'm going to snip it right in the middle here somewhere. Okay. And, uh, well, I see that. There we go. Sorry for the delay. Um, so we got two pieces of wire. And... We're going to get our strippers out. This is another thing I recommend. Get yourself a nice pair of wire strippers. These work really good. So, it actually has a stop on it. You can set this right here so it will only close so far and that slides back and forth. So that way you don't cut your wire off when you're trying to strip it. So, you can just take your wire get on there, go around it a little bit, and uh, pull it right off, boom, you got a nice clean strip and it doesn't cut the wire. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna run one of those through here, like so. I'm gonna bring one of these little alligator clips down to hold that wire. Then we're gonna do the same thing right here. We're gonna run this one through this hole and I'll clamp it with this one, okay? So this is what we have right now. These are holding the wires that I'm gonna solder into the jack, okay? I'm gonna try to get this in focus as best I can. Please bear with me. Um, I'm gonna turn the soldering iron on. We'll get that heated up. Okay, now that's pretty clean. Hopefully it will stay that way. I'm using uh, lead-free rosin core solder. You can get this at Habba Freight. It's pretty reasonable. It works good. It's for electrical uh, soldering. They make solder for like copper piping and stuff. That's not the stuff you want. You want the rosin core. Okay, so our iron has heated up to Four, well, it's climbing, 480, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to hold this iron right on the wire and the lug at the same time. Get your solder in your other hand ready to feed it in there. And this is what you're going to do. You're going to stick it on the lug and the wire, 
count to like three and start applying some solder and get that flowing right in there nice and then just pull it away you can see it cooling right in front of your eyes now I'm going to do the same thing on this side and we should see the solder come right through the back and plug the hole there it is let that cool that's all there is to it guys that's it the next thing I'm going to do is take some shrink tube and slide it down over the wires and just warm it up and cover these bare uh, terminals and that way no wires will get touching you know inside the guitar and grounding out okay folks so what we're gonna do now I'm gonna unclamp this from the jig I'll leave it in the bottom one uh, what we're gonna do we'll take our cutters we'll get some shrink heat shrink tube you can get this at like Harbor Freight too comes in all different diameters uh, we're just gonna cut a piece off I'm gonna cut two pieces off and then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna slide them down over like this okay and get this one right down right to the switch like that okay and then you can take a cigarette lighter or even your soldering iron and just put a little heat on them and the heat makes them shrink like that right in front of your eyes and uh, that just covers up any any bare wires or anything that could you know cause something to ground out from another wire hitting it inside your guitar or effect pedal or whatever it is that you might be working on so there you go now you got a nice sealed uh, switch here and which I can just strip the legs off now when I get ready to install these in guitars this part's already done for me and what I probably will do is this I'll take another piece of shrink tube a bigger piece okay and uh, you don't have to do this but I like doing this sometimes just for an added uh, safety factor and even for aesthetics I'll put another piece on push the wires kind of close together and uh, we'll heat that up now what that does that just keeps the wires so if you're spreading them apart you're not going to pull them or bend the uh, the terminals off okay it's just kind of an extra safety and again just heat it up a little with your lighter just kind of form it in don't grab this stuff when it's really hot because that can stick to your fingers and burn you too okay other than that we're ready to go now when I bend this it's gonna the bend's gonna stop right there okay and it won't bend the terminals and split the wires. Well, guys, I hope this helped you out. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know. I'm glad to answer them. Okie doke. We'll see you soon.